Everyone, we are here with the talented folks behind the new film, Good Boy. We have writer director Vijar Bo, Bo yeah. Um, we have Guard Lok and Katrine Lo Luis. Uh, beautiful names. I'm having a difficult time. Sorry. Um, and uh, yeah. So, how are you guys? Doing good. 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 Um, let's talk a little bit about this crazy movie. Um, who wants to jump in and give me a very quick synopsis without spoilers? I think Villiar is really eager to No, do that. oh no, oh. <laughs> I'm really bad at this. Let's help each other out. I see that. Help yeah. each other. Uh, oh my um, god. Okay, it's about yeah. No, I think you'll do good, Gord. I think you'll do a good okay. Let me see if I got this. Well, the story is about this young woman who meets this young man who happened to stumble upon a lot of money. And he has an unusual dog. And they get to know each other. And things are not what they seem at first. Is that uh... Excellent. Excellent. And so, obviously... Uh, the title "Good Boy" referring to this dog. There's something to that uh, that pet. Um, so, Vijar, uh, you wrote and directed. What inspired this story? That's a good question. I <clears throat> I keep you know I've been getting asked what uh, inspired me. You know, um, and you know when it comes to you know the human in a dog costume which is you know the main uh you know hook i guess you could say uh, i'm actually not really sure i just thought that was like a fun imagery that i've just kept in my head for a long time uh, a couple of years now and um at first you know i wasn't sure if it was going to be a comedy or thriller or you know a satire or what so um but you know while writing it i kind of I actually kind of got when I found, you know, Christian, the millionaire um, heir, when I kind of came up with that character, I kind of got inspired by Fifty Shades of Grey. So I kind of took some inspiration. So that was, you know, the dog, a human in a dog costume and Fifty Shades of Grey and those two together and then blend it with um, some, you know, uh, audition is very much... Um, inspiration for the film and Gone Girl. So yeah, a blend between a lot of things. Would you call it a horror film, psychological horror, thriller? Does it have a definition? I we usually say um, romantic thriller is what we <laughs> often call it. For animal uh, levels, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Um Gard, let's talk about your character Christian. Yeah. Um and who who is it? Well, Christian, he's a rich young single guy that lives in this villa all alone except his dog. Uh, he's a thinker for sure. Um, he has a lot of um, thoughts in his head and a desire to love and be loved. And I think he mixes this with other things that um, seem like it is love, but maybe more of control. And I think he gets kind of confused by his own desires. He's a he's a confused man as well. Well, and the fact that he is a millionaire and has seemingly endless resources kind of just lets him do whatever he wants, you know. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Um, let's 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 talk about your character, Katrine. Uh, Who is she? How how does she end up meeting Christian? I think uh, Sigrid, uh, she is um, a character which is looking for love and connection, uh, but from a different perspective as uh, uh, Gard uh, or Christian. Um, but um, she comes from a family uh, where the parents are divorced and uh, where she is struggling to get ends to meet. And I think she doesn't have any strong uh, connections. So it's um, uh, when she, yeah, she's holding on to anything she can in a way uh, and trying to be open-minded, but 
at the same time she is skeptical and a little bit confused and uh, with the bubbling energy uh, I think she uh, she um, um, yeah she's trying to find out where her heart is and where she belongs uh, the film opens with kind of an extended sequence of just Christian and his dog you know and initially you're like what's going on here but after a while you kind of start to accept it you know like Lajar, was this your was was that the goal to kind of acclimate people to the idea absolutely i think um that's definitely the, you know the point of those first 10 minutes is to you know kind of just see you know it's in the first few minutes uh, it's kind of represented as this you know creepy thing but you know the more you know you see the routine and stuff it looks like you know an innocent relationship between a man and a dog who happens to be a man in a dog costume um and yeah other than that it's just a you know a guy and a dog and uh, that's hope yeah exactly that's the point is to just um make people accept it as just this normal thing and so then when sigrid gets it gets into the picture you kind of understand how she's like what's happening but okay um so let's let's see here um guard and same both questions for katrina and guard um when you read the script, uh, what really made you go, okay, I want to do this movie? Katrine, you first. Yeah. Um, well, at first I thought it was a romantic comedy, uh, actually, because uh, when I auditioned, I just had a, a scene uh, of um, um, when Sigrid and uh, Christian uh, was uh, playing the scene of hard to get uh, in the bed. Um, uh, so when I got through to the next round, uh, I got the whole script, uh, and it was, of course, it was a shock uh, that it turned out to be something uh, uh, different. But at the same time, it was very intriguing to see um, how the diff, uh, like how many different things you could put into something and make it work, and uh, so many opportunities to play. Um, so it gave a lot of opportunity to be just. Uh, um, there and experiencing it through uh, Sigri. That had to be a, a jarring experience with Jar. Was that intentional in the audition process? Were you trying to kind of trick the actors in a way? Yeah, well, you don't want to scare them away, uh, you know. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, at, at first, you know, you want to lure them in, kind of how the film, you know, tries to lure in the audience. So, no, yeah, I, I guess you don't want to give them a too weird of a scene. And um, so a little bit uh, deliberate, I guess. Yeah. OK, but then with Gard, um, Gard, when you audition, it, wrapping the other question into it, too, um, what was your experience like and how how? What made you go, yes, 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 I want to do this? Uh, well, reading the full script, knowing the knowing with the the man in the dog costume, this thing would I, I went, uh, Villiar, what what is this? This uh, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> and then I acclimated to it too, and um it it really grew on me because it was something completely different than I than I've ever been presented with. And it was a huge challenge as well, getting into the story, getting into the character, uh, trying to understand the worldview of of everybody it was, um, well, my mind started racing and I couldn't get it off my head. And then I know, and or then I knew that I, I had to, had to do it. Excellent, excellent. So uh, <laughs> he just said, we'll, we'll yarn. Is that the which what's the oh god, okay no it's fine yeah um okay so wh what were you exploring exploring with this movie was it the humanity and animals the animals and humanity, old, what's going yeah is is you know yeah it's a lot of different things it's definitely you know exploring 
you know, love, you know, at how you might try to gain control in, you know, relationship, you know, um, uh, how, you know, people, um, how you can, some things that might seem weird, you know, you can start accepting things and, um, yeah. I kind of forgot what the question was. I oh, sorry. I didn't know if this was an exploration of humanity and, and animals. Yeah, and no. Herbs, or... Yeah, so of course it was definitely a exploration. One of the inspiration was that um, you know we call dogs uh, humans' best friend, and um, I always felt like, of course, I bet most dogs love their owners, but they also kind of don't have a choice in the situation they're in you know if, if they do something if they start acting up or they'll get disciplined and they don't really have you know the same tools as human to you know communicate if they you know don't like the situation they're in and you know they don't have you know they can express themselves but you know they don't have you know the same face expressions and stuff like um, as humans so i feel like humans kind of project their own feelings onto the dog and I would just want to it would be fun to see what happens if our human is put is put in that situation right so you know we are told that Frank you know ex loves doing this and loves being a dog but you know he hasn't said anything to you know Sigrid or to the audience uh, of how he really feels you know especially you know in the first half at least uh -huh. without giving too much away so that was uh, definitely something uh, I want to explore yeah okay so like I, I suppose my next question is kind of like what were the influences for this movie like what was is it more Hitchcock is it more you know uh what like what what are some of the films that really inspired you to make this movie I think <clears throat> definitely perhaps the main film is audition um oh, which yeah. Takashi Miki yes yes exactly you know yeah. it's it, it holds you know it has a different kind of similar structure where you know it starts one way and then it turns into another thing uh, especially you know Gone Girl uh, all of Fincher stuff is um definitely um a huge inspiration to all my work but also I think Gone Girl um was one of the main how that kind of changes genre or you know perspective and uh, the way you know the audience perceive the characters throughout the film and also uh, everything by Lars von Trier really also is a huge inspiration on the film Antichrist in particular oh. yeah yeah, yeah. no oh, and uh, especially with the cabin and stuff <laughs> like that yeah oh man um so reception to the film has been good thus far yeah um Guard, uh, after screenings, do people look at you a different way, or do they like after, after after screenings? Are they like, hey, uh, yeah, well, not uh, giving too much away. I've watched it with my friends a couple uh -huh. of times, different friends and family, and I think we've we've talked a lot of about things afterwards for sure. Uh, I guess I'll keep it. <laughs> at that for now just not to give any spoilers away <laughs> uh katrine uh what if some of your friends and family uh how how did how'd they react to the movie um well i think they were quite surprised uh at least and um it was uh i think well my mother she was really scared um <laughs> but uh, i think that many of them really liked it and uh, enjoyed uh, watching it. Excellent. Uh, well, you guys, I, I can't thank you enough for taking the time to talk to me today. Um, and um, best of luck on this release. Um, you, everyone, let's see here. It comes out on digital and in theaters September 8th, correct? September correct. 8th. Everybody, make sure to watch Good Boy. We'll give you a treat if you do. And uh, you guys, thank you for your time and best of luck with this release. Thank you so Thank much. You. Great right. talking to you. You too. Take care.